three charges for Q and capital Q and small q are placed in straight line of length L at points distant 0, L by 2 and L respectively. What should be capital Q in order to make the net force on small q to be 0? So here 3 charges, 4q, capital Q and small q. These 3 charges are placed on a strike line. So strike line of length L. So first charge 4q is placed at 0. And second charge q is placed at a distance L by 2 from 0. And third charge small q is placed at a distance L from 0. What should be capital Q in order to make the net force on small q to be 0? So the net electrostatic force at small q is to be 0. So to, to get the result into 0, what should be capital Q? This is the question. So net electrostatic force at Q is 0 because of these two charges 4Q and capital Q. So first force experienced by small q due to 4Q is Fe is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught product of charges 4q into q the distance of separation from 4q to q is l so l square and the next force experienced by small q due to capital q is fe dash is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q into q by here distance from capital Q to small q is L by 2. So L by 2 whole square. Now the resultant force at small q is 0. The resultant force Fe plus Fe dash is equals to 0. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 4q into q by L square is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q into Q by here L by 2 whole square becomes L square by 4. So on both sides 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught cancelled. 4 Q also cancelled. L square also cancelled. So here it is minus LHS side small q and RHS side minus q. So that implies q is equals to minus q. Here what should be capital Q in order to make the net force on small q is to be 0. So capital Q is equals to minus uh, small q. So which option is correct? First option minus q is correct.